Good morning. It's about 9.20. Uh, we are slack packing again today for, out of um, Weary Feet Hostel. We got about nine miles today. The nice thing is, is the trail goes right to the hostel. So um, Julie dropped us off and we're hiking down to the hostel. We really enjoyed our stay there. She does a great breakfast and dinner and um, comfortable bed. We had a private room last night, got it again tonight. And so we're just looking forward to a nice, easy day. My foot's feeling a lot better. It's been nice not having to carry that weight. I think it's helped um, it heal a little bit. So sun should be coming out today. Yesterday was kind of cloudy. Should be sunny today. But we got a little downhill, then uphill, and then again, like yesterday, probably just a ridge walk um, there. So, colors on the little trees are just gorgeous. So, it's nice walking through the woods and enjoying all the color. See you down the trail. about uh, two and a half miles in to our, uh, I think it's around a nine mile slack pack again today where we're carrying a, just a day pack. And uh, it's been easy again today. I mean, the, of course, the, without all the weight of the full pack, it makes it easy to start with. But then the trail has been probably a little easier than it was yesterday so far. Now that can change, but Right now, I'd say it's a little easier. Um, very easy uh, grade up and down, just nothing crazy steep that goes on forever or down that goes on forever. And that's what gets you is when it just <clears throat> keeps going and going and going, that's where either direction up or down can get you a little bit. As long as it's changing and it's not so steep, it's, it's pleasant to deal with in the grand scheme of things. But uh, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful day out here. That's uh, very steep. I'm looking up uh, directly up a hill here, sweeping around and then uh, down to the trail. And then if we look down here below us, this is downhill, very steep to my right of the trail. You can see we're gonna have a switch back and there's the trail down there uh, going along that way. So. October 18th, this is probably in the 50s. There's very little wind today. It's ideal hiking weather. And uh, it's very sunny. Yesterday was an overcast day. It was a lot breezier. It was pleasant but for hiking. But uh, today's even better. So we're enjoying it. And uh, Debbie's foot's feeling better and better. So I think we're making the right <clears throat> call and taking it easy for a couple of days after giving it some rest so we'll see how it turns out talk to you later so let's see we've reached the turn off the at for the uh, jenny knob shelter right here so you go you would turn to the right and go down following that blue blaze downhill down to the shelter uh, we don't need to stop here so we're not going to walk down and back up um, Sometimes it's uh, three or four tenths of a mile. So that would almost be a half a mile walking. So uh, we're probably not gonna do that since we're not needing a break yet and we'll move on. So that's where you go. All right, 
came out to a paid road. We did a little road walk. It's not very far. Uh, a couple hundred yards or so, maybe, down the road. And uh, then the AT is going to take back off. But uh, it's uh, making real good time. Beautiful temperatures out here. And uh, we're going to stop somewhere pretty soon. Eat something, take a little break as we find a good spot, but uh, we're cruising down uh, County, Virginia County Road 608 right now, and uh, we'll uh, turn off where this, wherever it leads us here. I believe we're right down here at this little spot, maybe the, where we're turning back into the woods. So, got a car coming up behind us. Very little traffic on these Bland County two lanes. Beautiful roads. Okay. We think maybe this is it. We do see a white blaze. So here we go. Got a little bridge over a dried up ditch. But uh, back off the paved road and back into the woods we go. So we'll check in later. Checking in, we've, we've uh, been 5.7 now miles and uh, ended up on another ridge line, but this one's uh, got rocks on it. So uh, a little different than the rest of the, the ridge walking we've been doing over the last couple of days through here, but uh, it's okay to have a small, hopefully <laughs> small stretch of this. Uh, it's not bad for a little while. It's just when it goes on for miles that it gets a little bit much. And it can be a lot worse than this, actually. Um, it doesn't really show up on camera so well as being that, <clears throat> that difficult, I, I know. But uh, anyway, we're uh, only about three, uh, a little less than three and a half miles from our ending point, which is back at the hospital. So we're uh, making good time and taking our time in it, in it, at the same time. We're uh, stopping and uh, it's mainly been a walk through the through the woods today. There's views out beyond the trees, but it doesn't show up on, on the video. So I don't really uh, show a lot of that. But here live, you can definitely see all that kind of stuff. Uh, there are some views and it's just not open vistas where you can uh, get good pictures and things with a camera. Uh, it's all kind of neat rock formations and outcroppings along the trail. So it's a beautiful day to be walking uh, through the Virginia Highlands. We're probably around 3,000 feet or so. So um, <clears throat> that's what's happening now. Check in with you later. There really some neat rock outcroppings on this park of the trail. We haven't had any rocks the past probably 10 plus miles, more than that, 15 probably, since we've had any rocks. But these are pretty cool. Just up above the trail, trails down here. I'm just kind of walking along. That is our view. And then on the other side of the trail, you 
got down, down, down. Sort of a view through the trees. Beautiful fall colors. Blue sky. Great day for hiking. It's about four o'clock, and um, we are less than a half a mile, I think point four, from the uh, turnoff to go down to the hospital where we're staying, the Weary Feet Hospital. And um, <clears throat> so we're about to wind up a uh, nine mile day. Um, so. Uh, Great day for hiking and good hike. Uh, we're uh, very fortunate to be able to slack pack the last couple of days because it really helped us um, get Debbie's foot feeling better. The uh, heavy pack makes a big difference. So uh, we'll uh, let's check in again maybe when we get back to the hospital. Talk to you later. So we came down to Blue Blaze, had to go through some briars, we parked up, popped out right there on the other side of the road, and we are here at the hostel, Weary Feet Hostel. So here we are, we made it back to the hostel. So this is what it looks like an old, it's an old farm um, that uh, Julie uh, purchased and converted it into a hostel, so it's an old, uh, I don't know how old it is, but it's old, probably early 1900s um, farmhouse. It's got a big front porch. I think this little bit, one of these little buildings here is a, she's got some bunks in there that are real rustic. Some uh, trail crew guys were here that are working on the trail that uh, stayed in that. So, uh, but this just gives you a a look at the outside we hadn't really done anything out here this is a beautiful day and uh, i think we beat everybody else back that's we know that's staying here there's a little pond down there there's, there's the highway <clears throat> and then a beautiful little flat field down below here's what the outside on the front looks like so. all right so we'll see if we can do a little tour later but here you are at the, at the weary feet hospital mm -hmm. 